name is Samantha, and I'm a freshman at Lincoln High School. You go! And this poem is called, If My Child Should Be Born With a Stutter. I am a person who stutters. And according to a current hypothesis drawn up in pristine labs, exact ca calculations making science of the way I speak, there's an 80% chance that my future child will also be a person who stutters. An 80% percent chance that one thread of, of DNA floating around in my genetic makeup will be delicately woven into intricate tapestries that, that will be my child's personal dialect, heredity taking fate into its own hands. An 80% chance that my child's tongue will get caught up against the roof of their mouth. No, the cat won't have gotten their tongue. This time it will be their own vocal cords, holding their inspiration hostage. An 80% chance that my child's words will, will, be standing, will be standing on the ledge of their tongue, a baby bird barely a month old, ready to fly. But something holds it back. Thousands of years of evolution telling them that they'll soar, but that one voice in the back of their minds saying, saying that they'll fall and keep anyone from trying. I have felt and I have dealt with all these things and more, and if one day my ear picks up four syllables getting caught between my child's clenched teeth, if one day my child's head is tilting backwards as the words come out chopped, if one day soccer moms on the playground are asking me if I drank while I was pregnant, birth defects have been on the rise after all, they'll say that they'll grow out of it. I don't care if they grow out of it. A speech impediment is not a childhood habit. They'll grow out of sucking their own thumb. They won't need to grow out of speaking with their own voice. It can be cured, they'll say. Save your tears to those who need them. Stuttering is not a terminal illness. Our voices are gifts sent from God. If you'd give us time to finish your own sentences, then maybe you'd see we just aren't as flawed as you might believe. If one day my child's spirits are as low as mine once were before, I will drown their insecurities and my certainties, their abilities. My home be sanctuary for my child. It's okay to pray out loud, baby. God won't mind hearing what you have to say just a few times over again. And even if the world, world around them doesn't have the courage to stare into the eyes of confidence, that child of mine will know that their voice has meaning, importance, and yes. That voice of theirs may come chopped up in unique bits and pieces, but I will cherish each bit and each piece that they will give me. Because even the world's most precious stones shine brightest once chopped, chopped, chopped away from the dull rock around them. I want the words to fly out of their mouth because even that baby bird standing on the ledge of that tree sometimes needs just a little push from their mama. I will be there for my child when they are ready to put those thousands of precious stone words out into the world and into the ears of anyone who will listen. Dear God, let them listen. What I want for my child, whether he or she stutters or a society's perfect concept of fluency, I want them to love their words, just like their mother had to learn to.